It's time to say goodbye to this old girl. We got a couple of cords, maybe three cords today. Hard to tell really. But we've got a lot of our oversized stuff blocked up. That was blocked up. Split. And I've got another, I'm going to guess two cords. I can do that with a split fire. But as far as I know, they're coming for this tomorrow. This is the, the last time. So I'm going to take it to the shop and just check the fluids and give a little pressure wash and grease what needs to be greased but as you can see before oh we took i think i split a total of eight cords with this machine since it's been here which means it ran a total of about six hours i'm guessing and not long enough to break it in but long enough to know that it's a wonderful machine um, would i spend my own money on it that's a hard question and uh i probably would if I didn't have this processor, this this processor. Um, I think if I was still with the, had my Range Road EcoPro 300, which I still have, but I don't use it. Haven't used it since this machine came, but I'm soon gonna put that back in the service. But if all I had was a Range Road, I would probably for sure have this uh, as my second or my backup producer. Now today, my neighbor Sterling was across. He was busting up these um, rounds. And I got another one ready to go as soon as, uh, maybe tomorrow. I, deliver that uh, supposed to be a bad streak of weather coming in so it might might be here for a little while but as far as I'm concerned this would be the uh, commercial machine that you should have if you were starting out you would need two good chainsaws a good uh, sturdy commercial maybe a smallish chainsaw for me it would be probably my 261 steel 261 would be my 80% oh, what I'd use that saw will we'll work for 80% of everything that we deal with and I would probably buy a 500i steel 500i and uh, just go to the next step bigger than my 400 cm and it would be the big saw for the big stuff and I'd put a 25 or 28 inch bar on it and I would block up all of the big stuff with it and just it would just work so much effort so much less effortless or that would work with so much less effort than the 261 with the big stuff and then I would have this machine and that conveyor will easily load a dump trailer. It'll make a big pile like I made right there. And I will just scoop right out of that pile. It takes 12 bucket loads in my little tractor to fill my dump trailer, one cord, believe it or not. I've, I've done it a, enough times to know. And I park beside the road, I got a little landing pad over here. We call this the postal landing pad here. This is where the, uh, the mailman comes off to put our mail in her, in her box. So this is where I, park my trailer I just back off the driveway and I park next to this edge and then I scoop from here into the dump trailer you've probably seen it on a video
So what are my takeaways? What are my thoughts? What would I change if I were to build this myself? If I were to special order, what would I do differently? Well, one thing I'd have better quality paint. I think that's one thing. And it's really completely aesthetic. Makes no difference exactly in uh, how it works. But, I mean, I've got over 300 cords in that little uh, Range Road processor. And the fit and finish on it is infinitely better than, than this. It's probably powder coated in this instead of paint. And the paint, as you can see, with just about eight cords, that's worn right down. And really, that makes no difference. That's not going to affect the uh, production or the quality. And it's, it's, it's a minor thing. The second thing I would do is I would add a second uh, pump. I would have a two-section pump instead of a one-section pump so that my conveyor and my log lift are operated, and even maybe the drive and the steering operate off of one section, and the splitter operate off the second section. And that way you could have, legitimately have help. The way it's set up right now, there's really no advantage to have a second person helping you. There's, other than bringing rounds perhaps to, um, to the uh, lift table, there's no advantage. So that would be the only other thing that I think would be a, a, an issue perhaps. Um, I would add that second pump just so that you can do two things at one time because as soon as I, I were to move this lever to raise and lower this or raise and lower the, the uh, conveyor not to get you know a, a log jam at the end of it, the splitter stops working. So it's kind of frustrating for the guy that's working the pedal and he's operating the, um, moving the block around to try to get it split and I've taken away his pressure. So I kind of learned to stay away from him when he's, when he's working that way. So, but that's a, and also probably a nitpicky thing too. Um, used to having a, a pretty good machine, my Tafoon RCA 400 will do everything at the same time but it's also instead of a 13 horsepower honda it's got a 53 horsepower diesel so it's a much bigger much more substantial machine i think also the other thing that i would do and this is another nitpicky thing is i would have a backrest you can see this little platform where you you stand i would have some kind of a some kind of a post with a even a little padded cushion that I could lean against because if you're taking any distance like I do up and down my driveway, I find it a bit sketchy um, and your foot gets pretty close to the to the tire when it steers. So, and it doesn't go fast enough. If you fell off, a thing would just stop and you'd get up and brush the dust off yourself. It's not like it's going to run over you. So, but to me, it's a solid eight and a half out of 10. I would recommend it to just about anybody maintenance is very very low there's uh three grease fittings on this front axle and the steering the drive chain needs to be oiled the conveyor chain needs to be oiled i just use chain oil from my chainsaw bucket just drip a little you know on there and this fellow here this needs to be greased so i grease this every day sometimes twice a day and i grease the sides of that as well and that just uh, keeps it working good but for all intents and purposes it's the grease isn't a big a big issue i just use uh a wheel bearing grease from my grease gun so anyway i'm happy with it gonna be sad to see it go but i understand it it's not something i'm glad i came here for uh the time that i had it i'm thrilled to have had it for as long as i did and thank you matt for giving me that opportunity and thank all you fellas for watching so everybody that's watching this video i am well aware of all the other options you have when it comes to uh, videos to watch especially when it comes to firewood and forestry and uh, the things that I like to watch on YouTube are probably the same things you guys like to watch on YouTube. So it's kind of overwhelming sometimes. So I'm humbled and honored. Thanks a million, everybody. Over and out.